Hello and welcome to Channel 6 News. I'm Loose Bowels. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Me and Brennan have been watching some videos on Pikmin 2. Like... This Pikmin. We've been watching those kind of Pikmin, Pikmin 2 videos, but... Pikmin 2 boss battles. So we're going to give you our top 10. My... There's going to be two parts of this video. There's going to be Brandon's side and this is my side. We both read our, our list down on paper of our top 12 Pikmin 2 bosses. So here we go on a number 12 out of this one cool animation by Brandon himself. I'm trying to keep a straight face because this boss is total bull. Screw it. <laughs> I hate this boss so much. <laughs> yeah. I just hope that this is your least favorite boss of all. The number 12 boss on my list to start out is the worst boss on my list. It's the Pileated Snagret first seen in the Snagger Hole. Now the Pileated Snagret is, is just seen as a green body version and a yellow feathered large beaconed version of the, of the burrowing Snagret. And that's how you see that first, right? Think again viewers! It has, it has one foot. It follows you everywhere. I just hate that damn thing. Ugh. Just having to waste my Pikmin on this one boss is frustrating. Let's move on to our next number, so I have, don't have to deal with this thing. I'm gonna lie down for a couple seconds. Ugh. I'm up again! Now we're going on to number 11. It's another terrible boss. Yeah, I, I can't hold it anymore. It's the Burrowing Snagret from the White Flower Garden. The Burrowing Snagret is how you think it looks. Yeah, it's a bird head with a snake snakeish body. It's a terrible boss. I don't like it. I wasted three Pikmin to that boss when I first played this game. And I started playing this game about a week ago. Started my own file, I started doing a lot of crap. I'm on day 15 right now. I'm out I broke the gate to the snagger hole. And BAM! Out of nowhere! A burrowing snagger pops out of the ground with my 50 reds to take down the wall, but he doesn't attack. He's not. He's not close enough to. He's not close enough to me to kill my Pikmin. But what's terrible about this is to get into the snagger hole. There's like a lot of snaggers everywhere, and I'm too bored to go into the hole because I'm frightened. Because obviously my that terrible boss, Pillion Snagger. <laughs> Anyways. I just don't like the boss because it appears everywhere. Value repose, awakening wood, almost anywhere. I don't like it. Even if it appears in Pikmin 3. But it's easier to find now with winged Pikmin. That makes it even better. Moving on! Don't know what I was doing down there. Sometimes I don't even know why people hide in the ground. Speaking of hiding in the ground, Emperor Bulblax from the Bulblax Kingdom as number 10. The Emperor Bulblax was the final boss in Pikmin 1. It was really, really tough to beat at first. But, in Pikmin 2, it makes, it makes another appearance, but it's a lot smaller. But the arena is underground in the Bulblax Kingdom, I know. I got to that hole already. I killed him, and now my characters are fire resistant. Pretty cool. But it's just tough to beat it because when I got down there, like when I was in the Bulblax Kingdom, I lost most of my purples, and now I had seven purples with me. Now, even today, I have seven purples in total. But it's a good thing Brennan helped me to help me manage to take him down, and now my characters are fire resistant. Thank you. Okay, moving on, everybody. Excited. Sorry about Brennan accidentally. Actually, no, I'm just gonna say X. Moving on. Ignore that. 
Number nine is Raging Long Legs from The Hole of Heroes. The Raging Long Legs is the fatter, blacker, and a little bit purple-ish -er than the Beanie Long Legs. But the Raging Long Legs has fatter feet, and it's way more massive than the regular thing. But it's but it's slow. But at first, when you attack it, shaking it up, shaking off all the Pikmin, instant steroids. <laughs> it's instantly fast, but only for a short time. But that's what gets me so frightened by it. I haven't even gotten to him yet. But yeah, I know I mentioned that before. But I know I haven't. But still, the boss is not so good. But I right, now. Now that I've gone with the four terrible bosses, we're going to move on to the more positive ones. Here we go! To Louie or not to Louie? That is the question. Whether or not do I finish this video, going on to number eight of the most positive, um, of the eight, next eight best Pikmin 2 bosses, or just end the stinking video and just end off the terror myself. To record? Or not to record? That was Pikmin Poetry by me. And now I'm moving on to something even sadder. The Water Wraith. The Water Wraith is number 8 in the Submerged Castle. The... It's very tough because it, it appears in almost every sub-level in the Submerged Castle. It's pretty hard, don't you think? Once you get the game, going to Sunburnt Castle with all your blue Pikmin, it appears a anywhere, anywhere. It's gonna be hard getting through with all those treasures. There's a donut in the Sunburnt Castle. You gotta get past the Water Wraith. But eventually you get purple Pikmin and you fight it. And I saw a video on a quick way to get rid of the cylinder things it rolls on. And, ugh, sorry. And now, it's a little easier You keep throwing purple Pikmin, but you need all your other Pikmin to fight it now. So it's pretty easy. Moving on. This is a boss I found in Pikmin 2 that really, really kept me, it really inspired me to keep my, all of my Pikmin alive. This, that boss is the Empress Bulblax. The Empress Bulblax is the first boss you find in Pikmin 2. It's found in the Hole of Beasts in the, the Awakening Wood. The first boss, but in the second level. It's found in sub-level 5. It's pretty hard. I. I had up all my purple Pikmin and my reds. I fought it. What wasn't worth it because I lost some reds. But they fought with honor. Honor. And uh, finally, she died. And now I can detect treasures whenever. When, now I can detect treasures wherever I can find them. And that's pretty good. That's a great reward. But. It's, I'm trying to be positive with this boss, but I just can't. Moving on. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know why I fall from the sky. Speaking of falling from the sky, Beady Long Legs from the Citadel Spires. Beady Long Legs is an original boss found in Pikmin 2, the Forest Navel. It's a really interesting boss when I saw it in Pikmin 1. That was a pretty interesting boss when I found it in Pikmin 1, and I've never played it before. But then finding it in Pikmin 2, that, that's probably why I got fans into liking this game, because that's one of the bosses that made another cameo, since it's the only boss that made it... Since it's the only... Uh, it's the only series that actually appears in. Moving on. Sometimes just staring at people is wrong, isn't it? Staring is... 
Uh, screw it. The Raging Bloister is number five. It's number five. The Raging Bloister is a giant slug thing with a plant, with a plant like a plant-ish life source on its ass. But what's hard about it is get is is getting it distracted. But it's not so hard as you think. You gotta get one captain to lie in front of it, like as close as you can in front of it. Napsec, he'll keep attacking that captain, but he will not take damage. It's it's pretty easy. But you need to keep switching captains over and over and over as much as you can. But you gotta attack it, it dies, and you get instant win. It's pretty easy. As I've seen on YouTube. Okay guys, we're back, and we are at number four. <sighs> Sorry guys, it's like 3.01 today, and I'm tired, almost, and I'm a little tired. Anyway, up next is the boss I found, along with this guy. Now that I showed you Louie, you know who it is. It is the Titan Dweevil, of course, the final boss of Pikmin 2. It holds four treasures in order to fight you. But, the real, the real truth about the Titan Dweevil is, it's actually pretty harmless. And there's no way Louie could have controlled it. Louie wouldn't, wouldn't try to attack his own partner. Anyway. Anyway. Um, the Titan Dweevil it may be the final boss, but it itself is harmless. And Louie couldn't have been controlling it. But, it was the treasures that got the best of the Titan Dweevil. It had to be taken down. It had to be. It had to save Louie, and you just gotta get the money somehow. <laughs> this boss just makes me so hungry because it's called the Giant Bread Bug. The Giant Bread Bug doesn't put up much of a fight. Because the giant bread bug is just a big, massive bread bug. <laughs> it's a little slower on its feet, but it does not attack any of your Pikmin. It just takes away treasures. Once you're done fighting it, you'll get an eraser, and it protects you from electricity, yeah. But the hole is infested with electricity, so... There's no, there's no point in even going through the hole and getting it anyways. It should be in another hole, shouldn't it be? I know you're thinking it should be in the next hole. But now, we got two more bosses! Here we go! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so hungry today. Anyway, number two. The two most frustrating bosses we have left. Some of you may not know who they are. Some of you do. Number two is the Segmented Crobster and the Cavern of Chaos. And the last jump cut, I didn't, I didn't say where the giant bread bug was. I didn't say Glutton's, Glutton's Kitchen. The Segmented Crobster is in the Cavern of Chaos. I'm looking up because I wrote all this down and Brennan is holding it for me. Anyway, the segmented clobster is just one small hand, one massive meat-filled hand. The reason why I like this boss is what Louis says about it. Uh, Louis' note. In Louis' notes, it says that the meat from the one of its claws, uh, if people just can't keep their hunk Italians can't keep their hands off of it. Uh, but the Copians think they're only vegetarians on diets. Nope. Louis eats meat. Deal with it. The segmented clobster is just cool. I think it's a great boss. Well, well thought out boss. But it's just going to be very difficult to fight it. Moving on to number one. Because you all probably know who it is. Okay. Now for the recap. Number twelve. It's the Pileated Snaggeret, 11, Burrowing Snaggeret, 
10 Emperor Ball Blacks, Raging Lawn Legs, Water Wraith, Empress Ball Blacks, Speedy Lawn Legs, Raging Loyster, Titan, Dweevil, Giant, Breadbuck, Samek, and Clopster. Huh. Now, take a good look at all those videos of all the bosses in Pikmin 2 and see which one I missed. The Man at Legs is a very, very well designed boss and it has a gun. The boss is just a really well thought out, thought out boss, but it may be terrible for other people, but this boss is just the, this boss is just the boss. <laughs> oh, this is great. The man at legs is just really cool, and I just like the sound it makes whenever it moves. <laughs> it's just, I like, I like how, I like how the noises it makes, too. it's how it attacks Pikmin. It's just, cool. it's just funny how it moves around like a, a smaller spider, like a daddy long legs or something. But it's just, I, I like the boss, it's just a well thought out boss. This concludes my part of the video. Burning's, Burning's part will be coming out soon. I will see you guys later. Now we have Brandon as Captain Olimar. See you guys later. Take care.